Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Citizen in Alpha 3.6 and here I am trying the racing mode in Arena Commander. So there's the Persistent Universe where we were playing around in the previous video and then there's this Arena Commander thing which tests out specific mechanics like combat and in this case racing. Uh, racing is interesting because there's a lot of inertia to the vessel and it takes a while for it to do counter thrusting to slow down as you can see there it continues sliding on and you have to sort of manage that and if you don't manage that properly you die so I need a lot more practice I would like to do racing that would be great uh, but it, it will take a lot of practice and it is a very skilled sort of thing to do so that's what makes it fun the problem is that arena commander has some glitches and it's not so much with the gameplay, uh, I mean, the gameplay as it is will work just like it does in the Persistent Universe, of course. So the flight mechanics should be the same and the combat should be the same. But I can't use my ships from the Persistent Universe in here for some reason. They don't show up in the selection menu. Uh, I, the other people seem to have the same glitch, so it's not just me. Here, I'm trying to reposition to that gate. <laughs> it's a little bit embarrassing, but you know gives you an idea but um, yeah so I have only two ships I have the Aurora and I have uh, I actually have this one the Merlin uh, but they those don't show up here this one this Merlin actually happens to be a rented one using rental credits and for some reason I thought it was supposed to go away from my account but it's sort of hung in there so there's a beneficial glitch if you will I don't know maybe it's supposed to be there I'm not sure but it's the only ship I can use in Arena com uh, Commander right now, and that's not great. But uh, especially since I want to upgrade my Aurora, I wanted to try those other ships in Arena Commander to see how they handle battle and how they handle racing in some cases. And well, if they don't show up, I can't really do that very well. So anyway, I hope that glitch will be fixed and uh, we can actually use Arena Commander for what it seemed to be intended for which was to uh, check out the mechanics and make sure everything is working right. Right now I don't think a lot of people are using Arena Commander because I think a lot of them are having similar glitches or other glitches. So yeah, but it, that's a shame because I mean the racing looks great. <laughs> I mean the racing is fun even when you uh, smash into something. Uh, it's one of those things where again as you're uh, trying to figure out how to race cars you know in those games uh, you keep going and going and trying to improve and this is basically the same way except in three dimensions <laughs> so uh, here I go again but yeah and uh, this time I'm trying to slow my counter thrusting because I was too quick last time and I don't do a good job of it ow yeah what's well, funny you'll notice I lost a wing up there it doesn't hurt the maneuverability but there it goes flapping around it ought to hurt the maneuverability but that they haven't implemented properly yet okay anyway back into the persistent universe and uh, here we are picking up my Aurora in order to trade for the first time my goal in this video my main goal is to trade and my Aurora finally has the capacity to trade it has 300 cargo units as you saw on that screen and I want to make use of it I've never traded before and I decided to strike out and find what opportunities there may be. So here we go. I still have to resolve the fact that my throttle... Uh, for some reason when I use the throttle lever, um, the axis is very sensitive right around the region of zero. And it's not so sensitive away from zero. And again, there's also the negative, so it goes backwards and forwards. Uh, that makes it really hard to control the vessel at slow speeds, which is what you need when you take off and land. I'd rather have it more sensitive close to zero and then less sensitive away from zero so that I get finer control when I'm trying to land, or at least equal all the way. But I don't know how to fix those curves. I don't know where in the menus that might be or if there is an option like that at all. So that's something I need to work on. Um, so, yeah, anyway, we are in space again and trying to figure out where to go. I saw this Kovalex shipping hub and I thought, well, if I'm going to do trading, a shipping hub would be good, maybe. So I decided to head for there, 
Turns out that was not such a good idea. I had never been there before, so that's why I did not know. But this is exploration still. I have not visited all the stuff, even in this meager system, you know, this initial base system. I have not visited everything by a long shot, so I'm still having to learn where everything is. Now, in the previous video, I had to, I, I decided to sort of slow walk it as far as going from place to place. I didn't know that you could basically jump through the planets. Um, there are two ways of this. It seems. First, this is uh, what somebody in the comments mentioned. It plots an interim uh, jump point. So this QM2 is actually a jump point that it plotted to go around the planet for me. Uh, the other option is a uh, suborbital hop that it does, and I'll show that later in the video. And so I didn't realize that I could do that. I thought the planet would block its way. And sometimes it says planet blocking away. And I don't know exactly what the rules are for when it says the planet is blocking away and when it can plot around it but um, anyway so I am uh, I have adapted to that feature of quantum jumps and here we are approaching the Kovalex shipping hub I'm trying to cut out as much as possible that uh, I don't think you need to see but here it is in fact a derelict and uh, well Derelicts still have opportunities, so I decided to go ahead and EVA and see if there are any crates lying around, right? I mean, in the previous video, I was uh, picking up crates and uh, for people. I wondered if I could pick up a crate for myself, maybe salvage something from this derelict. But, you know, honestly, probably people have already cleared it all out, so... I am obviously a latecomer to all these things, so I didn't get first dibs on the crates, if there were any here, I don't know. The nice thing about the Star Citizen right now is they've done a lot of work on the sound environments, and the sounds are really, really good. And I appreciate that because I'm mostly an auditory person. So yeah, I like the sounds, and this is a pretty light derelict, in other words, there's not a whole lot of decay in here, there's obviously been some panels loose and some plasma going on out front uh, where we entered but you know that red glow but otherwise it's mostly intact so yeah should be able to find some stuff in here no uh, <laughs> where's my where's my salvage anyway I didn't find anything so I headed back out maybe there was something that I just missed easy for me to miss stuff and I actually sort of got caught on something right there. Look at that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, what? I sidestepped it though. So there's some awkward collider right there, but overall pretty good. It was easy floating through the station. No odd things I bumped into there, so just that little bit. Anyway, it's quite a magnificent view, and I head back to my ship there. You have to go into the non-third person view, you have to go into first person view to see the HUD and be able to locate your ship, of course. This third person view is nice though. I don't like the third person view with the ship, but third person view uh, while on EVA is really good. I like that. Anyway, yeah, this is a really nice view. <laughs> so here we go. I go back into my Aurora, my trusty Aurora. And we need to find somewhere else to pick up packages. First, I actually try and approach Daymar, the uh, the moon, I guess. It's a moon below us. And uh, I approached one of the sites on the moon. It didn't have any trading consoles, so nothing there. But I enjoyed the sites. The landscapes are really good, too. EVAs are reasonably fun, and the landscapes are pretty magnificent. So there is that. Anyway, I decided to look online to find where a trade route might be, and I found a thread on Reddit that said that there was two locations on this moon called Yella, and it's an ice moon, and pretty spectacular icy landscapes too, and that seemed pretty convenient, I mean, just two sites in the same place, but it wouldn't be very lucrative, it just happens to be convenient. There is another site that seems to have a uh, whole searchable database of trading sites, so that might be more useful. It's a uh, route finder, but uh, I'll use that in the next video. 
So this was just the Reddit thread that I was having, and I'm still having trouble trying to land. Uh... And again, that's because I'm using my main throttle for uh, forward and back, but that was more side to side, and that's just uh, my hat switch. and should be a little bit more refined than that. Anyway, in here we need to find a trading console. Cycle. And you can see, uh, the suit does have limited resources, but they're generous, so there's plenty of supplies to float around with. I'm trying to find the console where I need to do the trading at, but these are all just dummy consoles, if you will. Uh, set dressing, lots of set dressing, and uh, it's by me, there, there, oh, yeah, yeah, there. Okay, so trading and shipping console, use. So the thread had said to trade iodine and that that was a reasonable margin. So waste is not quite so lucrative unless you have a really big vessel. I don't have many units and you can see I've got a budget of 10,000 and it's only got to take 105. So obviously this is not going to be the biggest return ever. Uh, but uh, it's something. It, for a first try, it'll be all right. So, got it. I've got three units of iodine. I didn't see any visual indicator of those three units on my vessel. It was just given the cargo capacity. So, yeah. I think they should appear in the cargo holds of other vessels. I'm not sure. Anyway, we are off, and we just want to go to another location on the same moon, and this is where the suborbital hop thing comes in. But look at that landscape. And actually, the Aurora is good for this, because the other ships, you know, they only have a bubble canopy over the top. The Aurora, you can actually see the ground. I'm leaning towards keeping it for a while, because I like seeing the ground when I'm approaching these landscapes, right? Especially since I can't land properly, that's really helpful. So maybe I should hang on to it for a little bit longer because of the better view. Anyway, so I've set route to the target, the destination for the cargo, but I wanted to check whether I had the cargo on board and I didn't know how to do that. It didn't seem to be anywhere in my HUD. So all these pages, nowhere did it say that I had these three units of cargo on board. So I didn't. I don't really know. Maybe it's in the panel in front, but I, I, I can't see anything. So I must be missing something. There's probably another menu, but I would expect that information to be part of that uh, that uh, display. Anyway, so first you have to get outside of the atmosphere, then you can do this hop. You can still see that the target location is through the planet's surface. So it is going to have to do something fancy to get to it, this quantum jump. Or we could turn into little quantum particles and head through the planet, but no. It automatically does a suborbital hop thing. And that's what you see here. Yep, so that's pretty neat. But now somebody had mentioned in the comments that they should have some sort of auto docking or auto landing thing. They, they seem to have, uh, it says sort of auto land on one of the buttons on the keyboard, but I, I don't see it doing that. So uh, maybe, maybe there is something, maybe there isn't, but uh, maybe they're going to implement something, I don't know. I would still personally want to be able to land properly myself. And that is not going to happen right here. <laughs> I'm still going to go backwards and forwards a lot and not quite hit it. And in the in-game chat, there's eventually uh, people who also sort of complain about the handling during VTOL phases. And, uh, well, my experience is a little bit different from what they were describing, though. This is obviously a control issue. Uh, I, the problem is that the forward and back on the throttle seems to be mapped to straight forward and back and I don't see a way of e extracting it. I could try and put straight forward and back on a different axis, but that doesn't seem to be possible right now. I don't know. Anyway, eventually I managed to ease it in. Uh, da, da. 
that? I don't actually know what the player character is doing with that left stick to... to uh, it seems to be knocking it right in order to go down, and that doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, okay, well, we have to deliver our, our packages. Problem here is, there's more than one building. It's a big base, actually, there are other people here. There are other ships. And I think uh, I see one depart there. So, there are people around. Other players. And lots of buildings. I go into this one. Unfortunately, a lot of the buildings looked similar or exactly the same. So I couldn't really tell. This is supposed to be a research outpost. And I guess that makes sense if you want to deliver something like iodine. And they seem to be researching plants, which would be a good thing to research when you're doing stuff in space. So we see plant life and green things in vats or tubs. But no trading console in this one. Fortunately, the one that does have the trading console makes it really obvious. So it's not difficult to find the trading console this time. So it's this particular building and it's actually smaller than the other ones so maybe that's a hint I don't know if there's some writing outside that was supposed to give me an indication of that this was the one but we see a person we see the Kovalex shipping thing that we should be familiar with from the previous uh, video when I took the trading missions not trading mission, delivery missions so I take a look around they got some refrigerators and such this guy is completely useless. Something I can help you. With. I think the NPCs are completely useless right now. So, anyway, there is the shipping console, Let's and go. I'm going to try and make my very first trading delivery. I'm not uh, I'm confusing things. My very first trade. I'm going to separate the delivery missions from the trades. This is my very first trade, and if you take a look at that, I sell it for 135 Alpha UEC, which means I netted 30. So I buy at 105. So that's a pretty good return if you could do it in bulk. I just don't have the cargo capacity to do it in bulk. So it'd be really tedious to trade with my little vessel unless I find some better opportunities. I will use this root finder on the web and see if there are more lucrative opportunities to take advantage of. And maybe I can earn some real UEC trading. We'll see. But anyway, there you have it. That is my first experience trading in Star Citizen, and I, I'm not gonna say that uh, this is this is obviously a work in progress, but uh, it was fun anyway. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.